In the first place, we have our own lingo and our own subculture. We talk about getting saved, being born again, deliverance and water baptism and being baptized in the Holy Spirit and getting ready for, for the rapture. We talk about, behold, what a wondrous day God has done. <laughs> or this is before the Lord. Now, we even develop an alternate universe where we have our Christian music, our Christian cafe, our Christian t-shirt, our Christian jewelry, our Christian this and our Christian that. But Jesus did not send us out to preach the gospel to the church. He sent us out to preach the gospel in the world. You see, we think of people outside the four walls of the church as dangerous, and they think of us as strange. Now, most, now I want to say this, and possibly it's lesser here in, in, in CCC than in many other churches, but most Christians are first base people, and most of our ministry efforts are in the first base. You say, well, what are you doing for God? I'm ushering, I'm involved in a connect group, I'm doing follow-up. Now, all those things are great and they are very important. You know, I, I play in the, in the band, I, I solely in the church, I, I'm keeping the church going. All first base activities. And like Paul, we are naturally gravitated to the first base. Why? Because we feel safe, we feel secure. There are more of us here than they are outside. <laughs> so what happens here is that on Sunday, we create this first space around us, and here we say we are the majority. The non-Christians, they are the minority, and they are the ones who should feel uncomfortable, so we're going to scream and holler and yell. You don't feel great about tongue-talking, foot-stomping dances, it's too bad. Because over here, we are the majority. And then we go out there on Monday and we feel awkward. And we terrify everybody, we praise God, the end of the world is coming. Are you ready for the rapture? <laughs> oh, repent, the judgment of God is near. And people who are without God are wondering if we have lost our mind. We don't talk human. Now, don't get me wrong, the first space is very important. I'm the champion of the church, as with Dr. Phil. You know what? I gave my life for the church. I gave my whole life to build the church, you know, the, of, the, of the living God, you know, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. We know that. Now, we need the first space to be a place where outsiders will feel right at home. Paul told the Corinthians, don't become so super spiritual. Tone down a dead. Tone down a little bit. So when people come, they will feel the presence of God and they will fall on their faces to worship the Lord. They know that God is here. So the first space should be a place where non-Christian could come in and experience the love, the acceptance, and the beauty of the Lord and give their hearts to Jesus. You believe that? Give the Lord a big clap. Come on, help me preach today, all right? 